Now that we've seen how we can build a very simple gable roof, let's take a look at something a little bit more complicated. This is called a hip roof. As you can see in the illustration below, a hip roof, rather than tipping in on two sides like the gable, actually tips in on all four sides. Now this looks as though it would make it much more complicated to draw, but in fact it doesn't. So let's get started and I'll show you how we can draw it in two-point perspective. You'll notice that I'm starting out exactly the way I started drawing the initial uh, drawing on the gable roof. I started with four orthogonal lines indicating the top of my roof. Then I started with an X and then half of a plus. Now, in order to continue to make the hip roof, I need to draw the second orthogonal, which will complete my plus. Then, I'm going to actually go ahead and complete my diamond shape. Once again, I'm working freehand on an iPad, so it's a little bit more difficult to get my lines straight. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to do the next step, which will create X plus diamond X plus. So if we were going to be stacking boxes on top of other boxes, I would be able to now know where the center is. But what I actually need here is rather than on the gable roof, when I found these outside points, what I really need right now is to come in to those two points. At that point, it becomes very much like when we did the last roof, which was, of course, the gable. I'm drawing two lines up. They are verticals. And then I'm going to complete the ridge of the roof, also known as the crest of the roof, by drawing a, uh, an orthogonal. And then, just like we did on the last roof, we're going to draw down from the crest of the roof to the corner. Crest of the roof to the corner, crest of the roof to the corner, and one more time. Now you can see that this doesn't look all that much different from the, uh, the other type of roof, the gable roof, but if I color this in for you, you'll see that this triangle, rather than sitting up straight as it did on the gable, is now tipping in. So what we have here is something that does have four sides tipping in instead of just the two rectangular sides that we had originally. I'm just going to clean that for you a little bit. Okay, so now you can see once again that back here would be a line that we wouldn't see. This is the crest of the roof. This, of course, is an orthogonal also. And we have one tipping in, two tipping in, three, the four side tipping in, and four tipping in. And that gives us our hip roof. Go ahead and try and build one of your own now.